Hey guys, this is Elizabeth Rocha here with Fuego Fit Nation. I want to make this quick video and to share with you guys a few tips on what foods are healthier when you are putting together your meal plan for the week. So right now what I'm showing you guys is our Beach Party on Demand. Um, for those of you that are club members, you have access to Beach Party on Demand and you have access to all our Beach Body programs and the nutrition guides online via your Beach Body on Demand website. Um, and you know, some of you have a three month access or six months or 12 months. Either way, this is a great resource and tool to have because if you're traveling or you're at work or you're you know on the road and have some time to look through your program, you can always get on your phone, on your laptop, on your tablet, wherever you have Wi-Fi connection and view the resources for your specific program that you're doing at that time. Um, some of us also purchase the actual, you know, programs that have the DVD set, and this is the Hammer and Chisel Nutrition Guide. Uh, we also have the 21 Day Fix Eating Plan, and I also have the 21 Day Fix Extreme. I have the Court of Force Nutrition Guide. So these actual guides, you can purchase through getting the base kit of the program that you want to do um, but if you are a club member and you did not you know get the the dvd set then you will have access to your nutrition guides online only but you do have the portion fix nutrition guide so anyway so i'm going to go ahead and for purposes of showing you walking you through what foods are healthier on the food list when you're making your meal plan i'm going to use the 21 day fix nutrition guide just because that's the most common program that our challengers are doing and it's it's easy to explain because this is the program that introduced us to the the portion control system so here we have obviously the workout list and i'm going to go to the program materials and in the program materials i will scroll down and i'm going to find the eating plan okay so the eating plan is where I want to show you the food list okay now I'll also show you the food list for each of the programs that I have here on you know on hand so this is the eating plan and I'm gonna scroll down to the food list because that's where I want to start my discussion about what foods are healthier obviously if you go through the nutrition plan there are a ton of tips on what foods are healthier. It also explains to you the calorie plan and explains to you water and hydration and great tips to make sure that you are eating the right amount of food for your specific weight. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll down. Hope I don't get anyone dizzy here. And these are examples of the meal plan. So anyone can take any of these meal plans here and add them to an excel spreadsheet and you don't have to do any guessing like what should i have for breakfast or snack what should i have for lunch what you would do is you take you know this information here you'd copy it and paste it into you know a microsoft excel document create a plan and use that to start creating your own meal plans but this, this is a meal plan here. It's just not in a calendar format like you're used to seeing that I provide you in the group. Okay, so anyone can use this. You just have to make sure you're eating enough. So here is the green container and this is the green container food list, okay? Now, as you see here, I want to show you that, that you know, you have an option from all of these here are options that you can eat for the green container. Now, let, here is the secret, not so much a secret, but any of the foods that are at the top of the food list, these here, the ones at the top, are the healthier foods in the green container. So the veggies, these are the healthier, they have more nutritional value, less calories. But remember, on our plan, we do not count calories. Okay, so up at the top, we have kale, watercress, collard greens, spinach. Now at the bottom here, we have sprouts, onions, radishes, mushrooms, lettuce, and so forth. So 
when you're looking at the top of the food list, these are the healthiest with less, more nutritional value, less calories. Your body will absorb these. It's just more nutrition in these foods up here versus the foods at the bottom. Now, let me tell you, these foods are not bad for you, okay? They're not bad. These are fresh foods. They're not processed and they're not filled with a bunch of sugars. So all of these foods are good for you. There's also some that are not on this list, but this is a huge list of foods that you can use and add to your meal plan. So say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you wanna have kale for lunch with your protein and your carb. Well, then you're gonna write that in in your meal plan. So those are all the options you have. Then you have the purple container. Same concept, same concept here. So you have fruits, you have your raspberries, you have all your berries at the top, and then you have your tomato sauce, okay? Plain or marinara. Yes, this is not, this is considered a fruit because when you buy canned tomato sauce or canned pasta sauce, they add sugar to it. Read the ingredients, there's sugar in it, and it's typically, it has preservatives and it's processed because it's in a can, okay? So it's still on the food plan, right? These are all the foods that you can have for your purple container. But again, the foods that are at the top of the purple list are the healthiest, they have the most nutritional value, and your body will absorb them easier, digest them easier, and use up the nutrients, okay, to nourish your body. Now, I want to go to obviously the red container as well. As you can see, there's a huge list of proteins that you can that you can choose from. Again, all these foods are good for you. They just it just depends. Do you want to eat clean foods? Cleaner these are just the cleaner foods, the healthier foods have more nutritional value than the ones at the bottom. So, there's times where you might be feeling hungrier than usual. So, guess what? You can pick some of the foods down at the bottom to add to your meals for the day so that you get more calories. But again, remember, we do not count calories. But it's just, as far as foods, it just contains more calories, meaning your body will get more, um, in, you'll get more in your system. Now the yellow container, this is the one that people struggle with the most. Why? Because for whatever reason, well, we all know why, carbs, all the food that we eat converts into sugar. You know, all of like carbs is just, everyone loves them. We love them. I know that. But so we have a hard time choosing to eat healthier carbs because we are so stuck on the carbs down at the bottom. Now, what I love about this is that you can still have carbs that are down here in your meals. But I'm going to tell you that if you want to see better results in your transformations, in your body transformations, your belly, and the way that you feel the following day. It is recommended, highly recommended, that you eat the carbs that are at the top of the carb list, okay? Sweet potatoes, yams, plantains, quinoa, beans, all of these, because these will digest, have more, they would digest easier in your body, your body will absorb the nutrients, and it'll use it for energy. It's not like filled with all kinds of, you know, sugar and, and stuff that your body's not going to really process um, and help you push through the day and also not give you the results that you're looking for. Um, so again, healthier carbs, more nutritional value, less calories, and just your body process it better, digest it, and it helps nourish it, fuel it up, you know, just good stuff. Again, you can have the carbs down here, but a lot of these carbs down at the bottom are processed, right? They're processed. They're not just, they're not natural, um, natural ingredients. If you look at the back of the breads, there's a bunch of like uh, wheat in it and just processed ingredients that your body can't digest. It can't digest it. So that means that you're eating all this food and it's just turning into calories, calories that your body that is, it's not absorbing nutrients that your body's not absorbing. And so you want to stay away from that. You want to stay away from as much processed foods as you can, because your body is not going to break it down and absorb it. And if your body's not breaking it down and absorbing it, then you're not fueling your body. Your body needs energy to function. And sometimes we have certain health issues 
we're, we have, you know, issues with gluten and gluten is horrible for our body. So you guys have to really be careful with wanting to always eat foods down here. Okay. Again, this food plan is not restrictive. You just have to limit your portions and you have to think about your specific goals and your health goals. If you are being told by your doctor or your nutritionist that your body can't absorb certain foods, so you gotta stay away from it. And honestly, all of the foods at the top of the food list are gonna be the healthiest for you, give you the most energy, and your body will process them and digest them you know, easier, it'll break it down, it'll go into your body, your system, it'll nourish every single organ in your body, and you'll be good. And this is why I love Shakeology. Because Shakeology, your body, it's a whole food. No artificial flavors, no sweeteners, no, you know, carbs that your body can't digest. It goes straight into your blood and it helps nourish you. It has all the superfoods and the herbs and the adaptogens. And it truly does nourish your body and supplement it with the vitamins and minerals that it requires to function for vitality and hormones and, you know, white blood cell counts red blood cell counts and energy and so again just wanted to make sure and share this video with you guys for those of you who need the help in choosing healthier food options from the food list to create a meal plan that's going to be the most helpful for you okay same thing with the healthy fats this is always going to be the healthier yes cheese is on the list but if you have issues with dairy do not have cheese yes it's allowed but if your body cannot digest it don't force it into your body don't don't say well i can have it yes you can have it but your body can't okay and that's just the way that you're made so you have to fuel your body according to your health goals and to make sure that you achieve the goals that you are wanting at the end of your journey but again this isn't a quick fix this isn't a race this is a lifestyle, and this is why you you reach a certain goal weight, and you're able to you know add in substitutions. You're able to do different things with your meal plan. Okay, so anyhow, thank you so much for listening. I hope that this video is helpful for those of you wanting to know what foods are healthier for you, so that you feel better and that your body is actually you know getting the right nutrients to help you push through your workouts help you push through your day and also help you achieve your health and fitness goals you guys have a great day if you have any questions feel free to email me or message me and i'll get back to you thank you